Continued warm and mostly sunny today, but some changes on the way for tomorrow. We see some moisture from the remnants of Francine will create some spotty showers and then continued warm in the next week, but maybe a more active patch. So another very warm day today, back to about 10 degrees above normal, mid 80s here across much of southern Minnesota, uh, low 80s all the way to the international border. Now the normal high in the northern part of the state is in the upper mid to upper 60s, so uh, 10 to 15 degrees above normal there. Tomorrow will be a little cooler for us in eastern Minnesota, mostly 70s, some pockets of 60s to the north. That's because we're going to see more clouds and a few of those spotty showers, a couple thunderstorms and moisture moving northward. Uh, muggier dew points, you'll notice this tomorrow, Sunday into probably Monday and Tuesday, uh, dew points in the low to mid 60s. Not real humid, but by mid-September standards, that's fairly muggy. Uh, we've got the remnants of Francine, already starting to see some of the high clouds from that moving into southeastern Minnesota, and then a cool front and Pacific system to the west that's been making its way east. These are gonna converge over Minnesota tomorrow. So uh, this evening, showers in Iowa, western Minnesota, and then notice that band of showers kind of fizzle out, but also at the same time that moisture colliding, that'll create these at least spotty showers and thunderstorms uh, for Saturday. And I do think we'll see a little bit of rainfall out of that. And it's been dry. We talked about the drought monitor yesterday. The past two weeks, second driest period this year, on a statewide basis. That's from Dr. Mark Seeley, a climatologist at the University of Minnesota Climate Adaptation Program. So yeah, it's been a wet year, but a nice little dry period here for now. But in the extended forecast, continued above normal temperatures, but also becoming wetter. And the reason is that this upper level high pressure ridge that's blocked systems will finally break down. We're still gonna be in a warm setup, but also a stormier setup. When we get into this southwest to northeast oriented mid and upper level flow, that brings every disturbance our way. So we will see at least occasional chances of showers and thunderstorms starting Wednesday into Thursday, Friday, the weekend, probably into the following week. No all day rains. We're not into that time of the year yet where we get those big storm systems, but disturbances that will add up. It looks like anywhere from one to three inches of rain over the next 10 days. So concerns of uh, drier weather that's set in the last couple of weeks probably will disappear, I think, uh, in the next seven to 10 days. But yeah, we stay pretty warm here, 80s through next week. Normal high by the end of next week is just low 70s. So we're gonna be quite a bit above that before finally seeing potentially a cooling trend for the following week. But by that point, we're probably cooling off to just normal temperatures, not necessarily below normal just yet. We've talked about September has a very strong climate signal. They're just much warmer than they used to be and consistently warmer. Uh, so several more days in the 80s here, which is starting to get unusual in the second half of September. But as I mentioned, a more active pattern developing too here, especially for the middle and latter part of next week.